Science, it is your boy, the Nitro General here, and welcome to episode 56 of our Pokemon Showdown series. Uh, we're going to try to get four battles into this video like we always do. If you guys are excited, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. You can do both of those things to help me. I had a little bit of a lisp there. Bye bye. You can do both of those things to help me hit my end of the year goal of 300 subscribers. It is a little ambitious, I know, but I really think we can do it if uh, you guys can hit that like button if you don't, and subscribe if you guys are new. Let's YouTube know that you guys enjoy the content. Let's me know you guys enjoy the content. But without further ado, guys, I do want to say one more thing before we get into this video. I am wearing my Jacksepticeye merch today, the Positive Mental Attitudes hoodie that I have had for a while. Uh, I am wearing this and sh showing support for Sean as his dad did pass a few weeks ago and um, I just want to offer up all my condolences and go over to his video and show some support on there. Apparently he's getting some hate and which is very undeserved and uh, he's a great guy and he's taking a break from YouTube. So head over to Jack's, Jack's Up The Guy's channel and show him some support on his last video. But other than that guys, let's get right into the battle. Trying to cut down on my intros a little bit since I know I can be a little long-winded sometimes. But yeah, if you guys want to check out more episodes or if you want to check out the team builder for this team, you can actually head over to the playlist tab on the channel where you can check out the rest of the Pokemon Showdown series as well as Ori and the Blind Forest, which is going on right now, and Minecraft and even some other series. And yeah, so right now we have, uh, we have, okay, so they, they definitely they could lead Ninetales to get up the Aurora Veil. This is not a hail team though. And you don't tend to see Ninetales run on not a hail team. Also, they also have grassy terrain, which would be really good for the steel roller. Um, they have Zatu, Zard. Obviously, they have Clangor Soul on Komo. They can do sword power shenanigans with Crass or Substitute. This is a very all over the place team. Very, very all over the place. Um, I do like Frozone here, so we may go that. And I almost want to go. Geyser as well because it is good against a variety of their team. I also have to make sure my sound is down. Okay. Uh, Alright, so they... Does Zatu get follow me? That's what I want to know. Let's fake out on the Kamoa here and just go for a steam eruption into the Kamoa. Well, they don't actually go for follow me. I don't, I don't think he gets it. Oh strange well we do a lot of damage here um i think we just go for we, we ko the kamoa here in the next turn with another one of those i'm just going for a triple axle and the zatu even if he has focus sash that's going to get rid of that uh they don't have anything that really wants to take a steam eruption except for maybe the bulu they go to zard okay well that's doing a crap ton to zard i think Think. Oh, we are focused, Sash. I think Ice Shard might actually be able to be enough to take out the Zard here. Um, oh, did we miss that Steam Eruption? I'm just going to go for the Ice Shard here, guys. Take out the Zard. Um, and then we're just going to go for a Steam Eruption take out the Kamo. Oh, uh, it is enough to take out the Zard. Thank God. We don't have to worry about that. There's the Clangorous Scales. Uh, sorry, Frozone. You really, you helped us out a lot in this bet. Oh, my God. Why... Oh, it didn't miss. He just had a citrus berry. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're just going to shadow here. We'll out speed come out oh, here. They go into nine tails Aloha, which is totally fine here. I am just gonna go for a Draco into the Kamo oh, since nothing. Actually, I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball maybe actually on the Kamo. Oh. So if I go for the Draco and they expect a Dragon move into Kamo, oh, they can easily go into to Bulu, right, and absorb that. And then I'm gonna go with Steam Eruption into Ninetales. They didn't, okay, we still get the KO. I was a little nervous we may not get the KO. Oh, by the way, I switched uh, Shadow's item to Choice Specs. I didn't say that, but I did. I switched it to Choice Specs because I didn't feel like um, we were doing enough damage with stuff. So, there is that. Now, I do believe we just go into Lincoln Logs here, and then I go for a Steam Eruption into Ninetales. Um, I don't know what he's thinking. He can have Grassy Glide. Obviously, he can have Grassy Glide. Um, but it's going to be neutral damage on Geyser. Geyser. He goes for Horn Leech. Okay, well, we KO the Ninetales. Um, 
And we're, we are just 100% going for a Steel Roller here to take out this, to take out Bulu and his um, uh, Grassy Terrain. So that Cresselia is really, really scary. I'm just going to go for the Steel Roller. I don't think Crest can have anything that's super... It can, does Crest get Body Press? I don't know. I'm still going for another Steam Eruption. It is going for Combine Stored Power. That is what... It, that That's what his... Uh, um, set is. Griselli is extremely bulky. Steel Roller is not going to take it out. It does get rid of that so we can no longer go for a um a Grassy Glide if he has it. I'm still going to go for a Steel Roller here. Or no, no. We're going to go for an Iron Head, obviously. And then I'm going to take a Steam Eruption. This Cresselia can definitely sweep. He's definitely trying to set up for Stored Power. That is 100% what he's doing. Uh, Bulu is going to go down. I'm not really worried too much about the the Zatu, um, as I'm just going to go into Pult here, um, I don't believe there's a better option here, but I am not at all taking this, I'm taking this because this could easily, we're going to go Rock Slide here, I'm going to go Shadow Ball on Zatu, I feel like if we just have just the Cresselia here, just the Cresselia, what can you do, do you have, do you have Simple Beam? So, it is not Focus Sash. I thought it was going to be Focus Sash, to be honest with you. Now, it does have Ice Beam, which is not good. Um, that's actually doing kind of, uh, not too much, but I do believe we go Black Bolt here. Um, we'll Fake Out, obviously. Um, I'm going to go Iron Head, and we're going to go Fake Out. I mean, that's our best bet. I could try to bulk up here against Cress. But the let's... I'm, I'm really scared of stored power here. Um, so... There's no point going for a bulk up here. There really, really isn't. We cave. We're going to win this whatsoever here anyways. Luckily, GG's, but... Um, yeah, so GG's to... Uh, um, Papa, Meow, Meow. Okay. That, that's, a, that's a name if I've ever heard one. But GG's, so we won our first battle. Definitely... So good. That was a good battle. I definitely think Frozone put in a lot of work there in the beginning, doing a lot of damage to Charizard with Triple Axel, being a move that's not even super effective, which is crazy that he was doing that much. My cat is being extremely noisy here. I don't know if you can hear him in the camera, but all right. So now it looks like we have a Trick Room team, but Urshifu is not slow, and neither is Kartana, right? So obviously looks like they have some, obviously some Trick Room priority. Um, they have one Pokemon to set up Trick Room. So we just go Frozone and we go uh, Shadow here. Um, because if they go out with, I'm going to butcher this, Rinkulus there, whatever that is to set it up. Chandelure, Rinkulus, they do. They do, that is what they do. So I am going to fake out and Shadow Ball right now on that Rinkulus to try to take it out. We, they screwed up here. I want to take this thing out. Make sure it no longer can, can go for it. Okay, now I believe if it doesn't go down to an Ice Shard, I'm going to be really sad. And then I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball and Chandelier. Oh, man. Well, are you going to go for a Fire Type move? Well, you can anyways because we get a Shadow Ball up. I might have screwed up their entire plan here, right? Your Grass Steel. I'm going for an Ice Shard into Reinkless here. And I'm 100% going for a Shadow Ball in a just in case something happens. Okay, it was going to target Kartana anyways. How much is it doing? It takes it down to Sash if we... Oh my god! We are going to... This is an amazing start here since we can Ice Shard Kartana. We're going to Ice Shard Kartana here. And I kind of have to switch out into... We'll go Geyser here, actually. I think is our best bet. Um, wait, Incineroar could have... Fake out. Uh, okay, well, you know, we'll, we'll fake out if they decide to go. He can only he can only go down one turn, right? Yeah, okay. So we are so focused, Sash. So he can fo he can uh, fake out and then KO me. And if he does KO me, then um, we'll just go into Black Bolt there and also fake out. Uh, Frozone. Oh wait, I'm not. Why did, I did not go for fake out? I meant to go for Ice Shard. Why did I do that? I meant to go for Ice Shard. You, oh, you guys probably were like, why'd you do that? I, it wasn't even like I was going for... 
I was going for a fake out. I was legitimately going for Ice Shard, but I screwed it up because I pressed the wrong move. Like, my whole point was to go for Ice Shard there. But I think I clicked fake out because I was talking about Incineroar having fake out. So, Kartana's gone. That should have happened last time. Didn't. Incineroar is gone. Now it's just Torkoal and uh, Urshifu. But we should be good here. Um, I definitely think I'm just I'm just gonna go straight for the triple axle into Urshifu here. And we're gonna go for the steam eruption into Torkoal. Um, should be yeah, it is resisted. It's not doing a ton, but it, it is some chip, I guess. Um, Iron Head, CLA to Frozone. Good thing I know that. Now I don't want to go into Pixie. Um, okay, so Torkoal, we know it's three percent. I am max attack life orb. If fake out does not KO the Torkoal, well, obviously, that's the thing. Okay, let's do it, Geyser. I need you to hit this Focus Blast. I need you to actually wait. What am I? I don't want to do that. You're not the Dark Type one. Obviously, you're not the Dark Type one. I'm just gonna go for a Steam Eruption. I think is our best bet here. Fake out. It does KO Torkoal. Bye bye. Surging strikes. But I have Water Absorb. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> Oh, but we get the 30% burn, which is nice. Um, and he forfeited. So two wins so far, guys. Two wins so far. This, this video is going really well. However, we have seen this turnaround vastly in our favor, as in the last episode where we did like we had like two wins and then lost three battles in a row. So we'll just have to see what the next team is right it depends on where we are on the ladder the people that we get right it's all pokemon it's all about matchups right bad matchups is not good for a, a team like this so um i do think that we don't have one singular type that absolutely destroys our team i think we have something for almost everything um which is what i tried to like to do oh so this guy he doesn't have Anything to change Reggie's ability, right? Because that was my... So let's go... I kind of want to go Black Bull and Frozone here to start off with. Got to watch out with Geyser. For that, uh... Well, we don't have anything for Gastrodon. I, I, I do realize that. Support? So what do you have? Ah, right. Neutralizing Gas. There, there, there is that. Um... Okay, so let's just go for close combat, fake out, and then we can try to go for a bulk up if that's not enough, which I don't know if it will be. It is enough. All right, strong. See you later. <laughs> um, see you later. Who do they decide to go into now? I wouldn't be surprised if it was Titar. Oh, they decide to go Gastrodon. Okay, so if I go for a close combat into Gastrodon here, and I decide to go for a triple axle as well, we are 100% safe. Oh, well, we KO the Gastrodon. Well, that was, that's cool. This guy is, we've, okay, so we've made it so, I just wanted to get rid of Gastrodon so that, um, Volcanion was free to come in against the Titar and the Torkoal. I am not going to be surprised if that, um, okay, Why? I'm just gonna go for another close combat. Alright, another triple I Axel, do you have Ice Shark? Do you have Protect? Is that not Ice Shark? Protect is what I meant. Just He's not Sandstream, which means he's on nerve. And we get the KO with on the T-Tar because we doubled up on it again! Are we gonna get a sweep? Are we gonna get a sweep here? Nah, we are gonna get a sweep. He does have Sludge Bomb. I was like, is he four uh no attacks? So I do believe that our best bet here now is Geyser, 100%. He goes Torkoal, which is our awesome, cool. Steam Eruption, Triple Axle, let's get it, bro. Steam Eruption, Triple Axle, let's go. Okay, oh, and he's not, wow, he, that is really low. That did not do like any damage at all. Wow, okay. Well, um, you could be Iron Head. We have seen that before. I just go for Steam Eruption here. And, uh, I don't know. I guess I can try to go for Triple X again for 
support. Oh, KO that stupid uh, Weezing. We should KO it now with uh, both of these into it. Then we only have to worry about the Urshifu. Uh, having Substitute is not great. Um, we can easily let Frozone... We'll let Frozone go down here. I think it's our best bet. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll come in with Pixie, and I think we should be good. Unless it does have Iron Head, then we could be... Then we could be a little... Okay, so he has Zen Headbutt. What are the chances that he has Zen Headbutt? He probably has Surging Strike, Zen Headbutt, Substitute. You think he has Iron Head as well? I would imagine he would have, like, close combat. Right? Like... That, that, that's what I would imagine his set would be. So, because he has Zen Headbutt, I imagine he doesn't have... Um... Iron Head for Pixie, which means that we should be good here. Oh, we just get the crit and KO it anyways. GG's to Verd... Verdeparian? Verdeparian? Alright. I also want to mention, guys, I am apologizing for how late this video is going to go up tonight. Because it is uh, really late that I'm recording this already. And I still have to edit it and everything like that. So it's probably going to come out late. So I do apologize to everybody. I'm going to get it out as soon as I can. Alright, so... I was kind of hoping we'd get a queen sweep, but it does look like we're going to get it on this team since they have, what, one, two, three, four, five legendaries and a pseudo legendary. Well, okay. Okay, you, somebody should go back and let me know if I've ever won against a team with a Galarian Moltres. Because I legitimately don't know if I have. Um, all right, guys are in Frozone, I think is our best bet here. Obviously that, okay, Dragon Pulse. Not, that's not good. Um, especially for Frozone. I do think I just go for a Steam Eruption and a Triple Axle. I don't feel like... The, okay, so he goes... Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Steam Eruption, I need you to KO or do a crap ton of damage. I should KO the Dragon Bolt here with Triple Axle. I'm not going to go down, luckily, on this turn. Because, oh my god, that's plus six. You have Rock Slide. Well, we KO the Dragon Bolt. I guess that's all that matters. But at the same time, that's extremely scary because I have to come in with Black Bolt and actually I could, I, I'm gonna come in with Lincoln Logs here and just Body Press. No, I can't do that. I have to go. I have to go Black Bolt because he's gonna resist because he's also fighting type. Oh man, that's not good. All right, well let's try to go for a close combat. Uh, what is your speed? 346. I am 385. I can outspeed. We'll go that. And I will go triple axle. Oh, he, he's... What? Are you... Oh, my God. Is he choice scarf? I don't even know what to do here, guys. He is 100% choice scarf. 100% do I? Why don't I have protect on you? I might switch knockoff for protect, and there would be no sense of going for toxic here because I don't think I can win this. Um. Oh my god! Dang! All right, Trakion's gone, but I don't think I can win this with stack and not with Cartana. Definitely not with... No, no. Cartana sweeps here, guys. Cartana... Yeah, that's... That's not good, right? We have something for Moltres, and we have something... We don't have anything for Diancie either, really, do we? Oh, there's Cartana, because he knows. Um, I'm going to soft boil here and see how much I do with uh, Body Press here to Cartana. Oh, my God! No! All right. Well, GG's to uh, Pixel Yappy. Uh, yep, can't use that after the top. Well, it looks like, uh, that is going to be the end of today's video, guys. Because we, we won three and we lost one. Um, I'm not totally sure how long this video is. It may be on the shorter side, and I apologize if it is. But we had four, we had four good battles here, guys. We had four good battles battles if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like down below subscribe if you guys are new all that good stuff so yeah um check out the other series we got on the channel all that good stuff like i said go over and show jack some uh some support on his channel he definitely needs it right now um but just don't go sp spreading hate but 
like I say at the end of every video, guys, I am the Nitro General, and uh, I hope you're, I hope you guys are injetting. What? <laughs> Sometimes I talk too fast, and my words combine. I hope you guys are enjoying the editing that I've been doing because I've been putting a lot more time into these videos lately. Also, the thumbnail for this one is probably going to be a little bit different because I'm going to try some different stuff. But other than that, guys, that is it for me. Like I say at the end of every video, guys, I am the Nitro General. I will see you in the next one. Peace.